Welcome back to Hannity. Remember back during the 2012 election, the presidential election, Democrats pouncing on Governor Mitt Romney when he dared to say that he had people, quote, give him a binder full of women to help him fill vacant cabinet positions. Well, those on the left declared his comment extremely offensive to women. But now in light of the latest Anthony Weiner sexting scandal, how would Democrats categorize the disgraced congressman's conduct? Well, Weiner is running to be the next mayor of New York City, can't seem to dig himself out of trouble. Now even members of his campaign Payne staff approving they're just as raunchy as he is. One of Wiener's former interns wrote an article in yesterday's Daily News in New York and said that people were only joining his campaign in the hopes of getting close to his wife, Huma, who has ties to Hillary. And as you can imagine, this did not sit very well with Wiener or his staff. His communications director, Barbara Morgan, went on a profanity lace filled tirade about the former intern. And according to reports, Morgan calling the intern every dirty name in the book. Name so bad, I'm not allowed to repeat him on television. I also get some of you mad with me. Now, you think if somebody on the left or somebody on the right here did ever use these types of words, would they be on the campaign? Wiener decided today that she'll be able to stay on the campaign. Who has the war against women? I'd say the Democrats. Joining me now with reaction, Fox News contributors Katie Pavlich and Leslie Marshall. All right, the best I can say here is T word, C word, F word, slut bag. That's about the best I can do. Does that help? Now, Wiener said she stays. What if a Republican did that, Leslie? Actually, Democrat and Republican, I'm a Democrat, but I am a woman first, Sean, and you should know that. And by the way, that C word is just shouldn't even be in uh, the English vocabulary. Uh, I, well, I honestly should have any a the other problem ones. with that. I, I, I have a pro well, I can handle some of those better. But uh, she definitely should not be uh, working uh, w with a, a politician who's running for mayor. I wouldn't even vote for Weiner based on the fact that he continued his behavior uh, for a year after stepping down from Congress. She's not running, however, Sean. I think it's a poor choice uh, for Weiner to continue with her she's on his, his staff, spokes, but she's not running he, for office. She is his spokesperson. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. profanity laced tirade. She goes on against an innocent person here. I mean, really? I mean, and he, yeah. he keeps her on staff, Katie? Yeah, it's very natural for Miss Morgan to be working for Anthony Weiner, who has very little respect for women. But going back to what, how this conversation started in terms of the war on women 2012, the Democrats actually won a lot of female votes based on that war on women rhetoric. And they wanted to tie every single gaffe that Republicans at a more of a local level made to the Romney campaign. They did it very well. Leslie Marshall was one of those people who wrote an entire op-ed about how the, the comments that Todd mm -hmm. Aiken made were directly tied to Paul Ryan. And so when this intern goes and talks about how people join the Wiener campaign to get to Hillary Clinton, telling the truth about how they're really not interested in the Wiener campaign because of all of his disgrace past, it's totally legitimate to tie the treatment of these women to the Hillary campaign, which we're probably going to see happen in 2016. Same standards on both sides. Leslie? Oh, well, I totally disagree. Uh, first, first of all, Katie, I'm so glad that you read my columns. You, my mom, some other people, I appreciate that. But in, <laughs> no but in, but in, addi in, addition, in addition to that, um, look, Mitt Romney didn't lose the female vote because of binders, or not even a phrase, the war on women, whether you like it or believe it or not. It's because of the Republican stance on, on no. legislation, whether it's trying to overturn Roe v. Wade and coming up with more restrictive areas of abortion, even though That's it's legal true. and has been since 1970. 73, whether it's trying to close uh, clinics or having a war against Planned Parenthood. We're not paying for uh, birth women control for Sandra and I, and Flock. The, the, the and, it wasn't, and it wasn't just women. You have to remember there, there right, are many let me ask women a within two other groups of voters, African Americans and Hispanics, right, let me ask who you a question. voted against Romney. The, because, the you point know, here is a double standard between the Republicans and the Democrats. And Democrats for a long time, whether it's Elliot Spitzer, Ted Kennedy, uh, Bill Clinton, uh, the, Mayor Filner in San Diego, the, the, they always brush under this bad behavior for the sake of the party and for the sake of this exact issue, the abortion Wait issue. So long as they mm -hmm. vote the right way and so long as they vote for pro-abortion policies, all of their bad behavior mm -hmm. that they deem is in their personal lives is completely brushed under the rug. We've seen that for decades and decades with the Democratic Party, while Republicans Absolutely are held not. accountable for things that we ask them to resign for, and you bring it up to this level of, of pinning it on people like Mitt Romney, who has never said the kind of things that Todd Aiken said. 
Well, I'm not bringing up Mitt Romney, actually, although I love him. Sean did. Uh, Filner, I was one of the you first women on it. national radio, if not the first, to say that he should resign. I continue that. I maintain that. I'm two hours from where he's sitting right now while I'm here in Los Angeles. David Vitter, sound familiar? He also, like Elliot Spitzer, not only broke the law in soliciting a prostitute and committed adultery. In addition to the fact as a woman, I would kick any of these men to the curb if they did that, if they were in my life as a boyfriend or a husband. I do not excuse that behavior as a woman. I do not see Democrats coming to Wiener's defense. I see his poll numbers dropping. Uh, the majority let of people in San question, Diego though. that are calling me, for Filner to question. resign are women. What, the, the, mm. the allegations against Bill Clinton, um, the way he treated Paula Jones, Kathleen Willey, Juanita Broderick, and then, of course, the intern, Monica Lewinsky, th this was a lot deeper. This was an abuse of women. And Democrats right. came to this man's defense, and they rallied behind him. Do you think, but, Katie, yeah. it goes back to the, uh, the, the hypocrisy in that instance? Is it relative here? Is it, is it? Sean, let me give you the biggest instance of hypocrisy coming from the 2012 DNC convention, when for days and days the Democrats were talking about the so-called so war on women. Sandra Fleck spoke, Bill Clinton spoke after her, and then after talking about the war on women for days, they had a five-minute tribute video to Ted Kennedy, who left a woman to drown in his car and left for nine hours before he called the police. The only people who have a real war on women that includes real life abuse here are the Democrats. And it's time that people like Nancy Pelosi stepped up and actually called for the resignation of people like Filner and told Elliot Spitzer to get lost. All right, guys, thank you both for being with us. Appreciate it as always.